Hey guys, I'm Kieran, and today I'm gonna be giving you guys eight tips to get off bronze in Valorant and into silver. So I did a video um about one month, two months ago, and it's about how to get off iron in Valorant, and it blew up a lot. And this one is like a follow up for um, how to get off bronze because currently I'm in silver two on my main account, and yeah, I have a lot of accounts, so. Yeah, um, so you guys may or may not see the 10 tips to get off iron, but if you haven't, it should be on the card on the top right of the screen by right now. So yeah, let's get right into the first tip then. So tip number one is communicate more. And I know I said this in the video on how to get off iron, but I think that once you're in, the, in bronze and trying to get out of bronze into silver, communication is even more important than before. And if you look through them, these highlights that, that was, I'm running in the background, you will see that on the bottom left, I always have I always speak in the voice chat. Um, it's very good to speak, and if you don't know how to communicate in Valorant, then you can start by like giving callouts on where your enemy is. Um, like if you know the enemy is up there, you just um one stair, one there, and ping it, or like just if you know the location, like Haven, CT, um, Boat House, or something like, that, just call out. Or you can t set um, where you're gonna go. Um, let's go A, let's go B. Um, flash there, smoke there. It's, communication is gonna help you more in the games. So yeah, um, that's the first tip. It's the, one of the most important. Um, and yeah, um, let's get right into the second tip. So for tip number two is don't get tilted. And this one is a very hard one because I always get tilted in ranks when someone do bad, but I try to not get tilted nowadays, but I still do sometimes yeah but yeah so this tip is very important in these low ranks because it's so frustrating to like get bad teammates toxic teammates they're not playing together they're not listening they have voice chat off or something like that throwing rounds but like if you got teammates that are toxic and not listening to you and your teammates but like if you were mad at them it's gonna make your team even worse because you're just gonna throw toxic words, toxic um, comms. The best way to overcome these um, teammates is to ignore them and focus on the other teammates and yourself. You still got three more people on the team to work with, so losing one people is not gonna be that bad. And focus on your teammates, yourself, um, trying to win games, communicate, don't be tilted. That will give you guys more chance of winning. Yeah. So tip number three, guys, is trade your teammates. In bronze, I don't see people trading their teammates often and just all die to the other person on the other team. So if you want to know what is trading, it's basically if the enemy um, team kills one of your teammates, you need to kill one of the other enemies back. So it will be an equal game and not like um, a disadvantage for your team. So to start, if you want to start trading, which you could, it's a very good thing to do in bronze, is um, if you walk behind a friend and you see them swing and peek to kill the enemy, try to swing with them or after they peek and see the result. So like if they peek and they die, you peek immediately after them and try to kill the enemy that kill your team. So it turns into like a 4v4, not a 5v4. Which the enemy have the advantage because they have five people so doing these will guarantee you that like at least your teammate die and your other team dies too not just you not just your team so this will give you like a lot more chances of winning and yeah let's get right into the fourth tip so tip number four is play passive and playing passive is like don't over take fights don't be greedy the way to win is just playing a bit more passive on defense, especially because um, if your team has less people, if you like aggressively push out on defense and you die, then your team has less people and it's harder to retake, harder to hold sights and stuff. But on defense, play retake instead. It's more passive. And if you don't know what retake means, retake basically means that you let the enemy plant the spike and then you and your team trying to go on site defuse the spike and win the round so when you do this go in together with the team use the flash use the smoke going in together at the same time so the enemy can't 
isolated 1v1s with you guys and they have then you guys can trade out each other so you can see like all these tips can be used together like while you're rushing in to retake you have to trade for your team if one of your teammates die or something so yeah that's tip number four let's get right into tip number five so tip number five is play for wins not kills by this i mean try to not be greedy and want the most kills in the game or like try to be always the top frag but try to play the ob objective um for example like on attack your objective is to plant the spike and prevent the enemy from defusing it and on defense your objective is to prevent enemies from planting the spike so that's like the objective of the game and you should focus on that more than kills i saw a lot of people in bronze they just focus more on kills and not like even planting the spike or defusing the spike when they need to like have you ever had a situation where you have to defuse the spike as a defender but you run around because you want to get the top frag you want to get a lot of kills or the ace or something and you just and when you kill the enemy yeah you get the ace you're happy but you don't have time to defuse the spike and you lose the round which might cause you to lose the game um, later so if you have something like that before just try to use this, t this trick it's gonna help you a lot so yeah let's get right into tip number six so tip number six is crotch head placement I didn't talk about this one in the 10 tips to get out of iron because uh, I think that in iron this tip is not that important as in bronze because not a, not a lot of people really aim for the head in irons but in bronze people have like some people have very good crosshair placement and that's what separates good from bad players in bronze uh, if your aim is good then you basically win you can just climb out of almost every rank so crosshair placement is very good to develop in bronze um, because in the future high ranks I think you need to have very good crosshair placement and if you don't know how to um, keep track of your um, crosshair placement and make sure it's on head level then try like aiming at your teammates head because um, all the agents in the game is have the same height so if you aim at the, your teammates head that's gonna be the enemy's head too at that range and um, different um, range like if you're very close to an angle the enemy is, sta is standing close to you um, their, their head might be a bit higher than if they're standing very far from you so just be aware of that and like ramps and stuff aim up a bit more and try to like just try to guess where the head is use your teammate as like a measurement system so yeah if you get the crosshair placement it's very easy to climb out of bronze guys right, so tip number seven is be aware of your weapons and I see the mistake among my friends who's in iron and bronze that they let's say they have a specter and they fight against people in mid on ascent which is a very long range and the, and the enemy team have a lot of money and they still fight the enemy team even though the enemy team have a, a vandal or like an op because they have a lot of money right so they still take this, those fights and it end up losing which caused the team to lose a round in the game and if you have like let's say you have shotguns don't try to like play long range angles play short close angles and like don't peek sometimes you don't need to peek if you have if your weapons is a disadvantage and try to play as a closer angle like if i have a phantom i wouldn't want to playing like long range because if i go up against vandal i'll probably lose because vandal is better at long range and if i play vandal i might not want to like try to take close angles with the phantoms so yeah be aware of your weapons it's very important guys uh, this is what keeps me back from get getting to silver at first but then once i figure this out and i try to stop this habit of just taking every fight without looking at my weapons i can get off bronze and into silver and i think you guys can too so i never hear anybody say about this tip so yeah just please be aware of your weapons okay guys so it's last tip and it's team comp Team comp means what agent and role are in the, a team. Um, so let's say you can't like you can you can technically play five duelists or four duelists in a game, but it's not it's not going to be very easy and the roles are going to be weird. And um, so I think the best team composition is one smoke, one initiator, one flash, one duelist or two duelist, or like if you do one duelist then do another sentinel if you do two list i don't think we need sentinel 
Sentinel are not in the meta right now, and Duelists are more useful. Um, and if you play what you want, like um, if you go in a queue, someone picked an agent that you you main. Like if let's say I main Reyna and Jet, if some people pick that, I would probably dodge the game, um, just because I don't feel confidence with any other agents except for these two. So yeah, just keep that in mind, guys. And yeah, that's the last tip. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys will get out of bronze soon, like me. And yeah, use these tips at your own risk. Bye-bye.